The Classic Sales Funnel Before I talk about Facebook Messenger chatbots in further detail, I want to recap how the Classic Online Sales Funnel works. You have to remember how to sell stuff online so you can craft your overall Facebook Messenger chatbot strategy according to these basic rules. If you blow this, then even the most sophisticated Facebook Messenger chatbot is not going to help you. All you end up doing is wasting money. To sell anything, online or offline, you have to get people to trust you. When was the last time you bought something from a complete and total stranger? I would venture to guess that the answer is never. If that's your answer, you're a completely normal person because that's how most normal people think. You're not going to buy thousands of dollars or even dozens of dollars worth of merchandise from somebody you don't know. There has to be some sort of trust there. Maybe a friend referred you, or maybe you have read something online that got your confidence. Whatever the case may be, there has to be some sort of trust. Otherwise, you're not going to pull the trigger. If that's how you think, then you have a pretty good understanding of how pretty much everybody else thinks. This is why the sales funnel is broken down into three stages. It all leads to trust. No stage. Have you ever noticed that when you check out Facebook or go to a lot of other websites that certain ads keep showing up? You may be thinking to yourself, why is the company behind that ad blowing all that money to keep showing me the same ad over and over? Well, this is called the rule of eight. Marketing studies show that consumers would only click on an ad or take action on an offer once they have seen it at least eight times. They have to be exposed to it for them to feel that they know it enough. This can take the form of an ad, a graphic, an article, or even a mention in an article. By that point, they reach a stage where they feel that, okay, maybe this brand is worth knowing. So they start looking at the ad more closely. They start reading the article with more attention. After this stage, they then subconsciously decide whether they like the brand or the offer enough or they like the solution being offered. The like stage. In the like stage, you basically are thinking that the particular category of solutions offered by an ad is legit, but you're going to compare it with other solutions. For example, if you're in the market for a new car, your need is very basic. You're trying to get from point A to point B. But there are many different car manufacturers competing for your business. You make a decision by lining them all up and figuring out their advantages and disadvantages. At this stage, you start liking a specific solution after you've compared it with others. And usually, this is due to the fact that you've seen their ad several times. That's how they distinguish themselves from the competition. They don't run away from the competition. Great ads usually let you know that there's competition out there, but they offer something different. You like their specific take. Trust stage. Once you have decided that a certain approach or a certain range of solutions is the way to go compared to others, the next step is to trust the brand that got you there. And usually, this happens quite naturally. It just clicks. This is actually the easiest part because it's almost automatic. Once your messaging clears the know and like stage, the trust stage pretty much falls into place. Your Facebook Messenger chatbot messages must comply with all three stages. Otherwise, you're going to lose the sale. When the engagement with the prospect is at the no stage, you have to restrict your Messenger chatbot to set certain pieces of information that boost credibility as far as knowledgeability, competence, and authority go. On the like stage, the kind of messaging you send must be comparative in nature. In other words, you position your brand according to its strengths, and then you line that up with the weakest points of the competition. You kind of stack the comparison by showing them in the worst light and showing your strongest suit. And then finally, you get to the trust stage, and this is usually filled in or assumed by the prospect. The bottom line, you're not going to buy anything from people you don't trust. Thankfully, Facebook Messenger Bot can help qualify general online traffic from Facebook into deeper and deeper levels of trust. Set up properly, your Facebook Messenger chatbot can turn an otherwise vaguely or mildly interested prospect base into one that is eager, ready, and willing to convert.